I wasn't looking for anything in particular, but look what I found. And they got my size too. Eighty-nine bucks. Can't beat it. Let's go ahead and get them. They feel pretty good. What's going on, everybody? Thank you guys for tuning in to the Run Straight Tech YouTube channel. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe if you found the video useful. So today we're doing a performance review on the Harden Stack Back 3 shoes. There is no move in modern basketball more lethal than the step back and no player who has weaponized it quite like James Harden. These Adidas signature shoes pay homage to his creativity on the hard wood. The bounce midsole is responsive and makes every step comfortable, whether you're working on your handle or draining shots from distance. Precisely placed eye stays coupled with a lace core and moduled heel unit to offer a lockdown feel. So getting into this performer's review, as you can see, the traction is pretty good, can't lie. Uh, as you can see, I'm elevating on my shot. The landing feels pretty soft, so doing the same thing to the other side, really trying to feel for my shot there. Now I'm just starting to shoot left-handed as best I can, uh, paying homage to James Harden, giving him his respect. So a lot of this video is gonna be left-handed today, all right? So same thing going to the other side. I uh, noticed that uh, I felt pretty balanced uh, with the shoe, and we'll get into the stability of the shoe a little bit later in the video, but same thing, I was trying to finish with that left hand. Now I'm doing a crossover, as you can hear. It feels pretty good, nice and tacked down there. So same thing to the other side, drilling that left-handed shot. So this is one of those moves James Harden likes to do, kind of play around, switching speed here. Uh, same thing, balance on the jump shot. I was feeling pretty smooth. Now I'm going back to the right hand jump shot. Same thing to the other side. Really testing out that traction there. Boom, all right. A little sham guy up in there. Same thing to the other side. A little bit of trickery there, playing with the ball. Elevating, pretty feeling pretty good. Um, so playing with the ball a little bit more, really, really testing out that traction, the balance and elevation. All right, guys, so it's time to tally up the scores of this shoe. And uh, it's a pretty solid shoe, I must admit. Um, so first things first, ankle support. The ankle support was solid. Um, it, it felt pretty good. It, uh, you know, could have been better in my view. But again, you know, guys, this is a, a budget shoe. So I'm sure Adidas didn't put all the money into, into this shoe. So ankle support, I would go 8 out of 10 with that. So that's where we are with that traction. The shoe was was a pretty good, uh, you know, grip. It had a pretty good bite. I did have to wipe my foot one time, um, and I always like to play on this floor because it's pretty dusty, and I can really test out the traction of the shoe. So I only had to wipe my foot one time, and I was on the court for about an hour or so. So that wasn't bad at all. So. Traction, I'm gonna go eight out of 10. Um, the shoe makes noise. It's not necessarily loud and not necessarily consistent with making noise, but the shoe does make noise um, as far as traction goes. So eight out of 10 there. Now the weight of the shoe is gonna be the only 10 out of 10 that I'm gonna give this shoe. So it's a pretty, it's not, again, it's not the heaviest shoe, but it's not the lightest shoe. It's like an in-between feel. So I don't necessarily feel like I didn't have anything on my feet at all, but it, it wasn't heavy either. So the weight of the shoe, 
I, I would have to give it a 10 out of 10 because for me personally, I like to feel like I have a shoe on if that makes sense. So 10 out of 10 there. Comfort of the shoe. Here's, here's uh, where I have to go down to a 7. The shoe overall has comfort, but for me, I noticed when I put the shoe on, I played for about 10, 15 minutes. I noticed that there was some compression up against my Achilles tendon. And you guys know about my, my ankle history. So I kind of had a cramp in my in the back of my leg, like near the Achilles, like the upper part of the Achilles. So for that, I have to I have to go with a seven out of ten. But I did notice after about another 10 minutes or so so after about 25 minutes it, it started to go away a little bit but i don't know it kind of left an imprint on me as far as comfort and then i started to feel that same thing on my other foot too but not as bad so i have to go with a seven out of ten as far as comfort goes especially around the ankle area but the rest of the shoe's comfort is is good. So seven out of ten there. Uh, stability of the shoe, I have to go with the eight out of the ten. Uh, the way that it is designed, I feel like the shoe is flexible, and ideally it goes, you know, where I go. But again, when we're talking about the ankle area, I feel like the stability wasn't where it needed to be for at least me and my foot so i did find when i was doing the spin moves and uh some of the crossovers i felt like th the front part of the shoe and the mid part of the shoe would go where i went but this back part of the shoe kind of was like still there at times if that makes sense so eight out of ten there does this shoe fit true to size i know a lot of you like snug fits but i know some of the shoes need time to break in or whatever but as far as does the shoe fit true to size i would have to say if i bought the shoe over again i probably would go a half a size up but that's just my opinion uh don't get me wrong again the shoe is comfortable but for the way i like to feel I don't necessarily want to feel the snuggest fit. So if you want a snug fit, that would be great. This would be great for whatever size you wear. But for me, I don't want to totally snug fit. So for that and what I'm looking for, I would have to go with an 8 out of 10. Ventilation of the shoe, I didn't really, my foot didn't sweat as much. Uh, so I have to go with a 9 out of 10. So throughout this entire shoe, you can see their air pockets all throughout the shoe. So uh, nine out of 10 there. Durability of the shoe. The way this shoe is so is, is made, I would say that um, durability, I'm gonna have to go with a nine out of 10. I think it's gonna last a while, especially playing indoors. Outdoors, I think that you would get more of a wear out of this shoe versus a lot of the other shoes. So outdoors, you know, normally you would get like three to four months if you're playing in them regularly. With this shoe, I feel like you probably can get another month or two out of them. So for that, I would do nine out of 10 there. Uh, so that gives us an 8.375 out of 10 for me. Now, I know that's, that score is a little bit lower than what you guys are, are accustomed to hearing from me, but 8.3 8 out of 10, that's a pretty solid shoe. Uh, I, I, I'll probably wear them, you know, again. they I probably won't wear them as much as some of the other shoes, but I'll keep the shoe in my back pocket. Well, that's what I got for you guys today. Hopefully, I explained this well. Hopefully... Uh, you got a little bit more detail out of, of explaining this shoe. So until next time, guys, signing out. Peace.